Hey everyone. Today, I just wanted to take a minute and talk about conflict. Human conflict is probably about as old as the human race itself. Whether it takes place in a relationship, community, or on a worldwide scale, conflict pits two or more groups or individuals against each other in order to try and resolve a dispute using words or weapons. Conflict is different from just a regular disagreement. It is perfectly possible to have a disagreement with somebody without escalating to conflict. A lot of people are under the impression, for example, that any argument in a marriage is bad. However, many experts maintain that arguing in and of itself is not damaging to a relationship. In fact, a relationship that is completely devoid of argument is sometimes the most doomed to fail because it often indicates that the partners do not care enough about the relationship to argue with each other at all. According to these experts, arguing itself is not necessarily a problem. The important thing is how we argue. We can disagree with other people without fighting against them. When two people seek to inform or persuade each other to the other's point of view, and when both parties are open to having their perspectives expanded, an argument can lead to increased understanding between two people. However, when an argument escalates from persuasion and rhetoric to outright attacks on individuals or groups of people, whether with words or weapons, the argument is no longer productive and will lead to negative consequences for both sides. Arguments in and of themselves are neutral. They can have positive or negative consequences, depending on how both sides conduct the argument. Conflict, however, is never productive. It is inherently zero-sum. Actually, it's worse than zero-sum, because a conflict often leads to solutions that are disagreeable for both parties. When we are angry or distressed, we often feel that conflict can solve our problems. We think that if we can hit hard enough, whether with words or our actions, then we can somehow win. However, conflict never leads to anyone winning in the long term. This is because conflict can never lead to the reconciliation of two parties, but the domination of one over the other. This inevitably leads to resentment in the dominated party. We will never put someone in their place as a result of conflict. The loser of the conflict will almost always rationalize as to why they lost and why they deserve to win, and will usually seek to resume the fight as soon as they feel that the odds are tipped back into their favor. If we dominate people by force, we open the door to a future vindictive retaliation. History has shown this time and time again, but it seems that the human race has not yet learned its lesson. Conflict is just as harmful between individuals and communities as it is between nations. It ruins the harmony of our daily lives just as easily as it disrupts our global relations. We cannot profess to be dedicated to world change while allowing ourselves to mistreat others in our personal relationships. If we dislike the atmosphere of conflict surrounding our current political or domestic situations, then it is our job to set an example of resolving disagreements in productive ways, whether these disagreements are with strangers on Twitter, our coworkers, or our own family members. We have to learn to treat people with the respect and decency that they deserve just for being human. People whom we may dislike or disagree with are not the exception to our decency. They are the true test of it. If we are only decent towards the people who are decent to us, then our decency isn't really decent at all, but mere social expedient. It's easy to be respectful towards people we like. The true test is how we treat those people that we dislike or who dislike us. I'm trying to work on this myself and I still have a long way to go. This is not an easy adjustment for anyone, but be that as it may, if we can say anything kind to or about someone else, this should be our standard for how we communicate. Learning to communicate without forceful conflict will not only improve our own lives, but it will improve the lives of those around us as well. Thank you for watching. Peace and blessings.